G'day Legends, Atron here. Uh, big shout out to everyone who's been watching the videos, much appreciated. I have just hit a thousand subs, so awesome, you know, thanks to all the legends out there. Um, that's awesome. So really stoked about that. Thanks for all the support. Um, I will be in doing, um, as promised, my I'll just be opening those as my little reward for getting a thousand subs, so might help me with... Uh, some blue meth or blue crystals I like to call it um, and yeah all, all fun and games so we're doing a we're doing a Guild Wars video um, my normal crew and setup is minnow bombing with just Mike no PD no Cupid um, although it might be interesting to use Walla uh, I do have him now um, I rolled him recently he is totally maxed with 10 of 10 and 8 flame guard and I've got full dodge on him. So I will be doing a bit of testing with him. Um, got some interesting videos with Arena and some super slowdown stuff with uh, him and Warlock. So, but yeah, a thousand subs, I'll be opening up the um, my guild chest and just seeing what there is to see really. Pretty basic rewards, but um, let's get into it guys. I'll just quickly run through my heroes that I normally use in case you haven't seen any of these videos before and just the strategy I go by. So we've got Minnow, he's 10 of 10, 8 War God. If you're only gonna use Minnow and Mike, it needs to be a five fight set, otherwise generally the power level's not quite there. Um, put him in Lightning Rock to make him go quicker, uh, so he hits the buildings, or he runs to the buildings faster. Uh, and he's got Victory Lunge on him, so. And then Mike is 10 of 10, and he's got the Bubble Pet, so generally it triggers if he gets Mike gets touched by anything and makes Minnow walk faster. You've got Ronan there, who's not leveled. He's purely there just to wipe out some troops. I don't use him for anything else. Um, that's why I never worked on his level too much. Anubis is 5 Vite going in um, to clear some more troops. And then Skelly is the one that I want to tank the GS copters with, or Gunslinger copters. And that's um, how I normally do that. And I might take those off because fast energy recover anyway. Um, and honestly, I'll probably just put some life drain on. Oh, actually, no, let's just put some um, some War God Crests on for some extra power. So, all right, let's, let's pretty much... And Didi, of course, who's got Doom Balloon for the cleanup. Anyway, let's just jump into it. These are some nice targets this week, guys. Um, being Sunday, hope everyone's weekend was outrageous. So some nice juicy targets. This will definitely be a PB for me. And uh, let's roll straight in, I suppose. Um, okay, so what have we got? Uh, pretty standard. We've got a lot of troops going on. Five things of troops. That's fine. Um, okay, so the strategy I want to use is I'm going to put Ronan in. You know, be dropping to get rid of those first initial ones. Um, Skelly will go over the top, uh, over the wall here, and just deal with some more troops and takes a bit of aggro from the GS copters, the gunslinger copters. Um, and then essentially my thought is because I want to deal with Ronan. I want to put Anubis down here He's gonna trigger straight away uh, I want to put Minnow probably over here and Mike he's five bites So it doesn't really matter where he goes now because we're seeing magic towers the health of those is only like 160 K with Minnow and Mike my my smash power is like 200 and I don't know, it's almost 250,000, so nothing's going to survive besides the town hall. Um, and also, it appears that <laughs> it appears that the um, what is it? The the hero's altar just always seems to like always seems to survive for some reason. I'm not sure what it is, but um, it always is left with like one HP. I'll see if I can show you what I mean. It seems to be the the way all the time. So this is why we bring troops, guys, because the GS copters will just go to the corner. And then essentially Ronan will, he'll die, but that's fine. He's on a, a suicide mission, but he's in the middle there just to get rid of some troops. So that's fine. The idea now is that Anubis can probably get rid of all of those. So we put, um, we're going to put Skelly in the top and then we're going to put Anubis down below after Skelly you know, has that first little bit. So we're definitely sure it's under a hundred. Still dropping some troops. So on Phoenix Pet as well. So once we get that and we know that there's um, like there's definitely less than 100. So this is where we do now. We drop Anubis, Ronan's gonna take aggro, we drop Minnow and then Mike, he's gonna run in 95% and all that's left is the Town Hall. Um, and that's pretty much, 
the strategy behind it. Obviously, without a skelly, um, it might be a little bit more difficult to make that work a bit more consistently, but that's how uh, I go about it. And I'll link, as I always do in these videos, guys, I'll link um, how you measure your minnow power and what you can do to figure out exactly what you're smashing, like what buildings will be left, all that jazz, um, make it a little bit easier for you. So it makes, it essentially it breaks down minnow bombing into a more concise formula rather than just, oh my God, my minnow is, you know, he's powerful, can I smash yet? So um, if you've watched these videos before, if you're first time, definitely check out that link. It's just a Reddit post, a lot more detailed breakdown of information, just a bit easier to read. So there's only a small amount of troops. So the same thing here goes, guys. Ronan's over here. We're going to want to take aggro. Um, now, we don't really want to go over near Rockno because he's going to lower energy. So again, I want to put Anubis up here. I want Ronan to walk out to the top here. And then I'm going to put, you know, Minnow over here to, to walk in after Ronan's taken aggro. So... Skelly, and now if you don't have a Skelly, guys, use a Ronin. So let's just use a Ronin anyway, in case for those people that don't have Skelly. I don't think this person even has a Gunslinger, so... Oh no, they do. That's fine. So we're dropping troops. We're dropping troops. Just one, slowly at a time. Ronin goes in. He should be clearing some troops, but he doesn't want to. Okay, so all the troops are pretty much done. So let's try and leave Skelly out of it this time. And um, for all those people that don't have him and all troops are gone. So now we want Ronan to take aggro onto Anubis and then we want to put Minnow uh, you know, away from the, the line of him and then we'll charge. We want to make sure we drop Mike before Minnow hits and happy days. So Nub, Minnow, Mike. Mike, Minnow runs in for another 94%. Um, I don't you know, you can wait, but it looks like they're going to just deal anyway. So another another strategy, easily broken down, um, easily thought out. You can kind of prepare exactly what's going to happen. Um, you're always generally going to suicide one of them. Just to, if there's five camps, it's hard to keep them all alive um, because you run the risk of them attacking and Anubis proccing and lowering the damage of your minnow. That's definitely something you want to avoid. So, um, but yeah, hopefully this is helping guys. Uh, I'll, I'll try and do this every Guild Wars. This is just the, the biggest one we've done in a while. So like stuff like this, you see, you know, these buildings over here are so far away from the magic tower. Realistically, they're, they're pretty far away. So if you, if you've got your minnow on Yellowfin, he's going to be fine. He's just going to tank them, um, with no worries. So or we've got suicide buildings, my favorite. So nothing that's in close and you don't even have to worry about that. So let's just try and do, um, we've got Skelly in there and he's just gonna get rid of some troops. Yep, that's done. I reckon there's probably less than a hundred now. So Anubis goes in and clears all the troops. Do we have any troops left? It doesn't look like it. Make sure that Anubis is not proccing and then all we want to do is, all right, there's a waller there. So all we want to do is make sure that waller doesn't proc either because he will lower and take off the buff of Minnow. So 27%, I'm just going to let everyone die. Just make sure nothing can happen. And then what I will do is I should have time for her to have Minnow walk into um, the building because they're so close. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop troops down here to draw the copters just a little bit so it's less distance. We want Minnow and Mike, he's gonna walk over, he's gonna hit it 95%, that's great, and DD is gonna clean up so I don't have to revive my Minnow. So stuff like that, just be cautious of, uh, especially with Waller these days, he's gonna slow your heroes, uh, you know, by up to 90% I think it is at level 10, it's pretty, pretty annoying. Um, if you're not careful. So if you're not careful, it can definitely take advantage of your drop um, and, you know, cause some so, some troubles there. So hopefully the strategy is making sense. I mean, it's a pretty standard minnow bomb, but I'm just trying to talk slowly through the actual 
strategy. Um, you know, let's try and do another one without um, Skelly. See if we've only got three bases here. It should be should be fairly easier. You know, my I look at this base and I look at the furthest target sticking out, which looks like that big fat warehouse. So all right, so we're gonna put we're gonna put Ronan. He's gonna run in. Troops on the other side, just one at a time, nothing crazy guys, just want to make sure that he's getting in, so he's stopped and now he is attacking the entire base rather than, maybe that's the way I dropped him, that might have been my fault, um, but he is scorched, so I mean he's going to go through, but is he actually going to face up, so if he destroys that warehouse I'm backing out, because that's where I want Minnow to proc, pretty simple. Um, all right, so we die, but I reckon we can clear the rest of those troops. So Anubis is there. I'm hoping he's gonna. Oh no, Mike, that's a shame. All right, let's just go through this again, guys. Uh, I'll try and get Ronan to proc on the um, the top here. Just dropping one, two GS copters. So Ronan should go to the very top. Yep, this time that's what we want. So this is without Skelly now. So the troops come in, the troops are gone, a lot more of them are gone. Yeah, okay, so when we drop Nub this time, um, we're going to have no issues with those troops. So let's do that. We're going to drop Nub up top because he's going to be closer and those GS copters will go in. So make sure their Nub's not ready to proc, not ready to proc. They've got a Ronin down there, GS copters are running. Okay, so Minnow is going to hit this building here, so the warehouse. He's going to hit the warehouse. So, let's do this. Ready, Anubis over here, Minnow there, Mike over there. 95%, happy days. Oh, no, and DD went in for the cleanup. So, you know, kind of textbook there, who died? Ronan died, need to revive him. He's really, Ronan is just my, my man for sticky troop situation. Generally, I can use Skelly and, um, Skelly and Anubis just fine, uh, but I have him for all those people that don't. Uh, Anu uh, Ronan is a pretty easy choice. So another great base, suicide buildings as I like to call them. So if you pit buildings outside, you're just asking for a minnow to come and chunk your base. Um, any of these ones down here would work out fine as well. Have they got a Have they got a gunslinger? This guy might be attacking. They've got a gunslinger, so you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop Skelly at the bottom here, I'm going to drop Minnow there, and then, uh, are, they, are they level 7? Level 7 blues? No, they're only level 5, so that's fine. On the arrow towers is what I was looking for there, guys. So if I lower the damage of the town hall and those arrow towers, Minnow's going to have no problem procking and destroying this entire base. So let's just drop Minnow, and then we're going to drop Mike, and this base will blow up. So, I mean, that wasn't 42%, but the, the point of what I was trying to say is those buildings in the middle, the town hall and the arrow towers, they have the highest HP. So you want to try and at least maybe get a Phoenix shot, maybe get a Skelly shot, maybe venture Ronan into the middle um, to have a little bit of damage on them. So when you do have the ability to drop your minnow on the outside on those suicide buildings, as I like to call them, um, you are sure that your minnow is going to destroy everything. Now, go and have a look at that Reddit post below, guys. You can check that out, um, and that'll explain what I'm talking about in a little bit better fashion. So, new PB, congratulations me. Uh, all fun and games. So, guys, uh, not much. Um, we'll be running through those chests, getting a 1,000 subscribers. Thank you very much again for everyone who's tuning in and listening to me. Um, and putting up with my Aussie twang. <laughs> so, uh, I do have Walla, which me and my buddy Sham um, from my main Lava 4 group, uh, we both rolled a Walla, so we're going to test him out in IS2, see how he goes. So, uh, you know, I put 8 Flame Guard him, hopefully he's going to help with HBM AG. Um, you know, still a little bit of testing to do, and we'll see what happens there. But anyway, guys. As always, thanks for tuning in and enjoy.